So without further ado, let us begin. And we're going to begin um, on our mats in a standing posture. And we're going to just begin with a little flow, just to kind of tap ourselves into this, uh, this afternoon as we continue to breathe and move through our practice. So as you feel ready, inhale, float the arms up and above your head. And as you exhale, release the hands all the way down towards your mat. Good. Take your hands to your shins. Inhale, lengthen here. And as you exhale, release the hands back down to the mat. Good. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over uh, the sound device. For some reason, my, my audio unit didn't charge properly. Okay, so there we go. That should be better. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why, but... Okay, so I'll place that there. All right. So as you feel ready, inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling here. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the earth. Take your hands to the shins, inhale, lift up halfway. And as you exhale, bring those hands back down to the earth. Inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling, palms touch. And exhale, bring those hands down to the sides. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, hinging and folding. Inhale, lengthening halfway. Exhale, hinging and folding. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, bringing the hands down to the sides. Good, one more time. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, left and halfway. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the sides. One more time. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, bring those hands all the way down. Inhale, lift them halfway. And as you exhale, release the hands all the way down. Inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring the hands to the sides. Good. And then from here, as you feel ready, just start to sway your arms from side to side here. And we've done this many times before and just a nice way to relax the hips and relax the shoulders here. So just start to move the body back and forth a few times here. Good. 
And as you feel ready, inhale, float the arms up and above your head, raise those arms up. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold all the way down. Take your hands to the shins, inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, raise those arms up towards the ceiling, palms touch. Exhale, bring the hands down to the sides. Good. And I'm really exaggerating my breath today. And the reason for that is, is because the more that we breathe, the more that we take these full breaths, the easier it is for us to really feel into our body. So inhale, raise those arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring the hands to the sides. Good. So as you feel ready here, we're going to find our way into downward facing dog pose. So let's find our way back onto our mats and we're going to take downward facing dog pose here. So spread across the fingers, press down through the thumb and the forefinger. Continue to wrap the outer triceps in, tuck the toes underneath, press the fingers forward, fold the thighs back, downward facing dog pose. So as you take downward facing dog pose, close the eyes here. Continue to lift those forearms up. Continue to wrap the outer triceps in. And releasing that head all the way down towards the earth. And as you continue to breathe here, spread across the fingers. Continue to let the hips rock over the left. And back to center to the right. And back to center to the left. And back to center to the right. And then you'll release the knees all the way down to the earth in a few rounds of cat and cow pose here. Inhale, lifting the chest on up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Inhale, lifting the chest forward and up. Exhale, rounding across the spine. Inhale, lifting the chest forward and up. Exhale, rounding across the spine. Good. Tuck your toes underneath. Press the thigh bones back again. Downward facing dog pose. So spread across your fingers here. Release that head all the way down to the earth. And just breathe here. Continue to breathe. Rock, bending the right knee, straightening the left leg. And bending the left knee and straightening the right leg. Again, bending the right knee, straightening the left leg. And bending the left knee and straightening the right leg. One more time, bending that left knee. One more time, bending that right knee. Good. And then eventually you'll walk the hands back towards the body and find your way into a forward fold. Really nice. Just release the torso on down. Let the weight shift forward from the heels to the toes. Take your right thumb, bring it to your left elbow crease. Take your left thumb, bring it to your right elbow crease. And just start to sway those elbows here. Swaying from side to side. And then taking the hands to the hips. As you press down to the feet, inhale, lift the chest on up. Find your way into a standing position. Once again, spread the palms wide apart. Let's take our hands to our hips and step our feet wide apart here. So for today's class, we're going to be doing some poses and just kind of staying in the poses for a little bit longer. More of a yin-like practice, even though we're doing standing poses. So as you feel ready, take your right hand, place it on the right shin. Take your left hand, float the arm up towards the ceiling, and just add a light bend to that right knee here. So see now that that left arm is lifting up, and continue to wrap the right outer shoulder in towards the body. Press down through the left, big toe mount of the foot. Draw the right shoulder back, 
hug that belly in and continue to lengthen across the chest here. And as you inhale, just begin to breathe here. A couple more breaths. Let the left hip come down slightly. So your left hip turns down a little bit and your right hip turns underneath you. As you inhale here, raise that left arm up. Take your hands to your hips and we're gonna change sides. You're gonna turn over the other side. You're gonna push your left hand down on the left shin. You're gonna take your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling here. Press down through the left ball of the foot. Press down through the right ball of the foot. You just feel that arm lifting up. If you ever have any shoulder tension here, place your right hand behind your back. It's a great way to alleviate any shoulder tension that you may have. Continuing to breathe here, lengthening through that right arm, chest and shoulder. Good, and as you feel ready here, inhale, float that right arm up to the ceiling. Turn your feet on in. See that your heels are out, see that your toes are in, and begin to release the hands all the way down those legs as you release the head down. So, from here, bend the knees slightly, and just begin to breathe into the back of the spine. See that the breath travels into the back of the waist. See that the breath travels into those hip points. You breathe here. And then from here, take your hands to your hips and press your feet on down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Let's turn our feet over the right side of the room and you're gonna bend into that right knee. As you bend into that right knee, keep the chest lifted, keep the heart lifted, and breathe here. So spread the toes wide apart. Press down through the right ball of the foot. Press down through the left ball of the foot. Take your arms out to the sides. Keep lengthening through your right arm, keep lengthening through your left arm, and breathing here. So as the arms extend out, and even if you have any shoulder tension here, place your hands down on tops of your thighs and breathe here. Good. And then you'll take your hands down to these hips, you'll straighten across that right leg, you'll turn your feet in, and you'll turn your feet over to the other side. So, as you feel ready, bending in deep through that left leg. And as you bend in deep through that left leg, take the arms out to the sides here. Lengthen the right arm back, lengthen the left arm forward, feet here. So keep lengthening through those arms, keep lengthening through those fingers. See that the chest is lifted, see that the heart is lifted here. And then as you feel ready, actually stay here for another few moments. So this is a pose, if you guys are ever looking for a workout, uh, I'm not saying you are, <laughs> but if you ever are, just holding warrior pose for about a minute or two, this is a workout. It's a, it's a tough pose, it's very rigorous on the body. It's rigorous on the legs, it's rigorous on the arms, but it helps to build muscle in the body, and muscle's good. So we'll take our hands once again to those hips, we'll straighten across that left leg, spin the feet in, and step the feet back together. As you feel ready, inhale, float the arms up and above your head, and as you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold you. Inhale, end it through the chest, heart, and sternum. As you exhale, you can pull. Inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the fingers. And as you exhale, take the arms back down to the sides. So inhale, float the arms up. Maybe the palms touch. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise those arms up towards the ceiling, lengthen through those fingers. As you exhale, bring the hands back to the side. So once again, let's take a wide stance out with our legs. And we're gonna turn our feet over the right side, and we're gonna take our right knee to a bend again. This time, you'll take your right forearm and place it on top of that thigh. So you can, you can just relax the fingers here. Just look down at that leg, see that the knee is bent. You may actually be able to see the ankle here, shin. 
and the right buttocks are strong in and underneath you. Keep bending across that knee, keep pressing through the left foot. Inhale, fold the left arm up. As you fold the left arm up, take the left palm, slide the left palm to the back of the room, slide the left arm forward, and lengthen the left arm up and over the head. So keep spinning that left palm down, keep lengthening through those fingers as you breathe here. Firm the right buttocks in, press through the left ball of the foot, and breathe. And then taking your left hand out, bring it up towards the ceiling. Inhale, arms come out to the sides. Good. Straighten across that right leg, turn your foot in, turn your other foot out, and bend deeply into this left knee. Left knee bends to 90 degrees. Take your left forearm, place it on top of that thigh, and just be here. So this is another great pose to take. It's actually a combination of a pose. You can see my torso is in triangle pose, but my leg is in warrior too. So it's kind of two poses put into one. As you feel ready, lift that right arm up. Now take that right arm, glide it back behind you, glide it down towards the mat, glide it up and over the head. Keep spinning the right palm down towards the floor. Bend deeply into that left knee. Firm the left buttocks in, press through the right pinky toe side of the foot. Now inhale, raise that right arm up. Let the right arm lift you up and out of the pose. Arms come to the side, straighten across that left leg. Hands come to the hips here, turn the feet in. Good. Inhale, float the arms up and over your head. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold all the way down here. Take your hands once again to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest on up. So bend those knees slightly and just lengthen, release the head on down. And then what you can do is walk your hands, let's say to the left side first. I'm usually used to going to the right side first. Let's walk those hands to the left side first and just release the head down. And breathe into the backs of the legs. You can shift the weight forward if you'd like. And allow those knees to bend slightly. Good, and then taking the hands back to center, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walking the hands over to the other leg. And breathing. Spreading across the toes. Sliding those thigh bones draw back. Eventually, finding your way back to center. Inhale, lifting your chest on up. Exhale, forward folding here. And just releasing that head on down. Good. Take your hands to your hips again. Inhale, peel that chest on up. Okay, walk the feet back together again and open the palms out to the side. So we're in Tadasana pose. This is a very popular pose. This is like the very first pose that's ever taught in a yoga class. So spread across the toes, feel the kneecaps lifting up, feel the thigh bones drawing back. Continue to lengthen the buttocks towards the heels. As you inhale, float the arms up towards the ceiling, raising through the fingers. And as you exhale, gliding the hands back to the sides and open the palms out. Good. Inhale, floating those arms up towards the ceiling, raising across the fingers here. And as you exhale, gliding the fingers down and opening the chest up. One more time. Inhale, floating the arms up towards the ceiling, lengthening into the fingers. And as you exhale, gliding the arms down and out to the sides. Very good. So now we're going to take ourselves to the mat and we're going to take ourselves into downward facing dog once again. So pressing through the fingers, first of all, Spread the fingers wide apart. Look at the wrists, see that the wrists are parallel with the top of the mat. And then as you feel ready, begin to spread across those fingers and begin to lift those hips on back, downward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog pose here. Just begin to put a bend in that right knee again. And really straightening across that left leg. Let the left outer hip draw back. 
But both palms press on down so that the head is releasing down. Feel the eyes softening. And then straighten across that right leg and bend deeply into that left knee. So again here, keep bending through that right hip. Keep bending into that left knee. Breathing here as you continue to draw that right out of the back. Nice. And then once again, just bringing both feet back on down, release the head on down in between the hands here. And you'll begin to walk the feet forward towards the hands once again. Inhale, left and halfway. Exhale, fold. And then you're going to take your hands to your shins. You're going to lift the chest on up. Bend those knees. Bend those knees and look forward. Just keep looking forward. Keep bending those knees. Look forward. Bend those knees. And as you exhale, glide your hands down those legs and release the head all the way down. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, peel up the chest. Find your way to standing. All right. We're going to come into tree pose. So take your hands to your hips. Put a bend into that left knee and spin your left heel out so that your left heel is making contact with your right ankle. Feel your right ball of the foot pressing down. Feel your right heel pressing down. Good. And then from here, you're going to draw the left knee into a bend so that the left foot comes up to the right shin. You're going to press the left foot into the right shin. You're going to press the right shin into the left foot. And be here. And maybe you're going to glide that leg on up and place the left foot into the right thigh crease. So press the left foot into the right thigh, press the right thigh into the left foot, take your hands into the center chest. Let those eyes be soft. If you lose your balance at all, it's okay to place your feet back down on the earth. You want to keep your eyes relaxed. So try not to like keep too much tension in the eyes, let your eyes be relaxed. Inhale, float the arms up and above your head. So it's okay to release that left foot down. It's okay to release the left foot down. Try to keep the left knee bent though. Now hold here for another three, two, one. Hands come to the center chest and release that leg on down. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. The right knee bends, spin that right heel in, you're going to take the right foot and place it over the left shin. So you can start there. If this is still really challenging for your balance, just take the right heel and place it on to the left shin just like this. You don't have to glide the entire foot up. So that's an option here. You're going to take your hand to the right, to the right shin. You're going to press the right foot into the left thigh. You're going to press the left thigh into the right foot. Take your hands into the center chest and breathe here. Keep firming that left outer buttocks in. Keep smoothing the flesh of the buttocks down towards the heels. And as you feel ready, inhale, float those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Continuing to breathe here as you lengthen through those fingers. Take the arms forward in front of you, wrap the outer triceps in, inhale, float the arms up towards the ceiling. Keep firming that left outer buttocks in. Keep lengthening up through those fingers. Good, and take those hands down through the center chest and release that right foot on down. Excellent, guys. So let's take our hands to the hips again. We'll walk our feet wide apart. And this time, we're gonna turn both of our feet over to the right, entirely to the right. So we've done this many times, just a nice long forward fold here. Um, if you have blocks, you may want to just grab your blocks and place your blocks on either side of your leg. If you don't have blocks, a couple of options that you have, you could place your hand on top of the shin here and just release the head down. You could place your hands on the floor. If you have blocks, you may want to place your hands on the blocks and just breathe here. Keep lengthening through the chest. So see that that left heel draws down. See that that left hip draws forward. See that that right hip draws back. Maybe over time you, you release the blocks and you just let the head release down.
then taking your hands to the hips, inhale, lift the chest on up, spin the feet back in, spin the feet over to the other side. So as you feel ready here, turn your entire hip all the way over to the right. Firm your left outer buttocks in, and then begin to release the hands down like this, taking your hands here, keep your hands on blocks, and just releasing the head on down. And if you don't have blocks, you can place the hands on the floor, you can place the hands on the shin, just release that head down, close those eyes. Press through the left ball of the foot, firm the left outer thigh in. Press through the right heel, take the right hip forward. Just breathe. Good. And then as you feel ready, lift on up. Take those hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Come back up to standing. Let's take our feet back together and stand into the asana one more time. So standing mountain pose. So you'll notice here that as the fingers spread wide apart, lengthening through the fingers, spreading across the fingers here, lengthening through the chest, the heart, the sternum, just breathing here. Now take your hands in front of you, interlace your fingers, and take your arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. This is called Badagoyasana. So hands in her waist pose. Firm the thighs in, firm the belly in. Keep lifting up through those arms, keep lifting up through those fingers. And then as you feel ready, gliding those hands down, take those hands behind the back, walk the feet a little bit wider apart. Release the head all the way down. Take those arms up towards the ceiling. Now, if you can't take the arms up towards the ceiling, you have one of two options. You can place the hands on the low back, let the elbows face one another and breathe here. You could interlace the fingers and bend the elbows. You could be here. Or you could take a strap and place a strap in between your hands and lift the arms up. You could also grab a towel, like a dish towel, and hold on to that and bring the arms and try to pull the right arm away from the left and the left away from the right. As you feel ready, inhale, lifting the chest, the heart, the sternum, and releasing the arms back down into the sides. Good. Interlace the fingers one more time in front of the chest. Press your palms forward in front of you. Take your arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. So see that the right arm pulls to the left, right, see that the left arm pulls to the left, and breathe. Good, and as you exhale, just release those hands all the way down to the mat. Let everything go here. If you can, maybe grab hold of the big toe mounds of the feet. If your hands don't reach there, grab hold of your shins. And just let the head release all the way down. Let it all go. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Nice. One more time. Hands come to the hips. Inhale. Peel up the chest, heart, and sternum. Take the arms out to the sides. Lengthen through the sternum, chest, and heart. Good. And then as you feel ready, one more time. Interlace the fingers here. Press the palms forward and up. Fly the arms over the right. And back to center here and glide the arms over the left. And back to center. So as you feel ready here, we're going to come back onto the mat. And you're going to press up once again into downward facing dog pose. So spread across the fingers, press the thigh bones back, hug the belly in. And breathe. Just 
be here for another few moments. And as you exhale, let's lower those knees down to the mat. We're going to take one little shoulder strengthening pose, so shoulder and, and belly strengthening pose. So if you have any tension in your shoulders or any tension in your belly, you could just keep your knees on the mat the entire time, just like this. So you'll spread the fingers wide apart, or I'm sorry, you'll interlace the fingers, you'll press the forearms down towards the mat, you'll feel the shoulder blades spreading across the back of the spine, you'll take the left leg back, you'll take the right leg back, and you'll walk the feet in towards one another. You'll see that that belly hugs in, you breathe here, and you press those heels back, continue to take the chest forward. Excellent. On the next exhalation, release those knees on down. Once again, come onto your hands here. Spread across the fingers. Inhale, taking yourself into a cow pose. Exhale, rounding the spine for a cat pose. Inhale, taking yourself into cow. Exhale, rounding through a cat. Once again, through a cow. Exhale, rounding through a cat. Tuck the toes underneath, press the thigh bones back, downward facing dog pose. Take the heels, release the heels all the way over to one side, and release the head on down. So this is just like a little bit of a twist in downward facing dog. So take the legs back to center, get wide the feet over to the other side, take the same pose, downward facing dog pose, exactly the same. We'll come back to center here. We'll walk those feet on in, release the head on back. And then you'll lower those knees on down to the mat. The inhale, feeling the chest forward and up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. The inhale, feeling the chest forward and up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. One more time. The inhale, feeling the chest forward and up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Good. And then from here, as you feel ready, you're going to take yourself and find yourself onto a seat. So I'm going to start out seated, and you're going to take your legs uh, towards me, or whichever, yeah, take your legs towards me, just so that you have uh, extension in those legs. And then as you feel ready here, we're going to start with like simple twist here. So you're going to take your right leg. Actually, we'll start with this, yeah, simple twist. You'll start with your right leg, you'll bring it over top of the left, and then you'll just twist towards your left side. Lift the chest, lift the heart, lift the stomach. And then come back to center, and then taking the other side of the pose. The left leg comes on over, the right hand comes over the side, and breathe here. And back to center again. And then from here, what I'd like you to do is, if you can, release the left leg over top of the right, just like this. We've done this pose before, and then as you exhale, walk the hands forward any amount. You know, you could always place your hands on blocks too, if you'd like. You could place your forearms on blocks. There's so many ways of doing these poses. Just close the eyes here and breathe.
Good, and then as you feel ready here, you lift on up. You'll take this leg out. You'll bring the other leg over across, and then you'll do exactly the same on the other side. So as you breathe here, you're going to lower down under your forearms, really steady on that. And breathe. Okay, and then as you inhale, lift on up. All right, so from here, as we get into a little bit more of some of these stretches, we're gonna take the feet together in butterfly pose. You can take your blocks if you want and place them right under your knees if you want to, it's an option. And then you're just gonna let the uh, chest come forward. So the blocks don't need to be on block, I'm sorry, the, the blocks are, yeah. The, the shins don't need to be on blocks, but if it's helpful here, it may be helpful for you. And you're just gonna continue to elongate here. So lend them through the chest, lend them through the heart, lend them through the skin. Continue to breathe. So close the eyes. This is often a great time to close the eyes. Remember guys, this is kind of where we start to build into our relaxing poses. So just give yourself permission to relax here. It's not always easy to relax, you know? So we actually have to give ourselves permission. lifting the chest, lifting the heart, lifting the sternum. So as you feel ready here, you're going to um, take yourself back onto your hands and your knees once again. Bring yourself back onto your hands and your knees. And let's begin to lengthen that right leg back. If you want, you can lift the left knee off the mat and see that you come into a three-legged dog. Press those hands a lot. Left knee is bent. Right knee is straight. Your right leg is straight. And just breathe here. I love this stretch. It's one of my favorite stretches. And then you'll lower that left knee down. You're going to lower the right knee down, and you're going to do the same. Extend that left leg back, float the left leg up. This is literally one of my favorite stretches. Here. The right hip draws back, the left side draws back, and you do. Good. And you release the right knee down and you release the left knee down. Excellent. So from here, as you feel ready, interlace the fingers here. Press down through the wrists, forearms, and the fingers. Lift those legs up, walk the feet in. And then find your way into your variation of a downward facing dog. So you press down through the wrists, the forearms, the fingers. Continue to see that the outer shoulders drop in. Continue to lengthen those heels on back. And as you exhale, lower those knees all the way down to the mat. Good. Now, we're going to go into what we call rabbit's pose. You're going to take your head, you're going to lower your head all the way down to the mat. So maybe your, your forehead makes contact with the knees, maybe it doesn't. 
You're gonna release the head on down and you're just gonna let yourself balance on the top of the head. Now take your hands, you know, raise them behind your back and pull your hands up towards the ceiling and your mouth. And breathe here. So you're lifting your arms away from your body. Just show to stretch out those neck muscles. Now, if you've had some type of hernia in the neck or some type of issue in the neck before, any type of issue in the neck, then please be mindful here. Don't go all the way onto your neck. Try to keep it on the forehead a little bit more and just lift through those arms. That's a good way of transitioning the weight off because you don't want to put pressure on those neck muscles. The vertebrae are so small. And then as you feel ready, inhale. Lifting on up here and breathing. Excellent. Okay. Yogis, let's take our legs. Let's bring our knees into our chest here. And you're going to hug your knees into your chest and you're going to start with the right leg. So start with that right leg, hug that right knee into the chest and just breathe here. Left knee is still bent, right knee is hugging into the chest. And we're breathing. Close those eyes. Just let the breath be long and slow here. Then you're going to switch. So take the left knee in, you release the right foot down, and you breathe. And it's fairly identical. like you to do is take the left leg, cross it over top of the right, and just let both knees release over towards the right side. You may want to place a block right underneath that, that um, left right knee, like both of those knees, just so you can breathe into that other left. Sorry, a dunny. <laughs> you ever in a yoga pose and you just think a, dunny, a funny thought in your head? <laughs> it can be irrelevant to all reality and yet it still comes into our minds. So as you feel right here, let's take our legs off to the other side. <laughs> and there has to be a little bit of a laugh in this practice. You know, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey. Um, just breathe here. Breathe into those hips. So many times when I practice with some of my teachers, and I still have teachers today, teachers in India, teachers in the U.S., and when I practice with them, there were just these certain moments where I just felt like good, and I just it was difficult to explain because it wasn't like it wasn't like any expectation or I was getting anything or some like prize or something. It was just a go it was just a feeling of goodness. It was a genuine feeling of goodness. I'm just releasing the legs over to the side. the legs come back to center here. Hug your knees into the chest. Let the knees rock just to the right. Come back to center into the left. Okay. 
Couple more times to the right, and then to the left. One more time to the right, and to the left. Excellent. Release the feet down onto your mat. Begin to lift your pelvis up. Begin to lift your pelvis up. Begin to lift your pelvis up. You can take your hands to your sides if you want, or you can just kind of leave your hands on your belly. It's up to you. Exhale, lower your pelvis on down. So maybe this time, if you want, you can lift your pelvis on up. If you have a block, maybe take a block under the back. You know, release it. This is great. This is such a good pose. Um, it helps to open the chest, the thoracic chest region. It helps to let the belly relax here. And then you could take the right knee and draw it on in and lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. This is called Arda Viparita Karani. Half leg lifted. Good, you can release that leg down. You can take your left knee into the chest. Lift that left leg on up. And bending that knee and releasing that leg on down. And just lifting the pelvis up. Remove that block from underneath the pelvis now. So now take the left knee one more time. Take your left foot, cross it over the right thigh, and just begin to hold in here. This is called thread the needle pose. If you can't grab hold of the back of the leg, that's fine. You know, flex the foot here and breathe. And you're going to change. Switch the legs. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> um, just breathing here. I love thread the needle stretch. This is a really nice stretch for the body. It's a really nice stretch for the legs. I'm breathing in here. I'm breathing out. Releasing that left foot down, hugging both knees into the chest, gently rocking the knees from side to side. So as you feel ready here, release the feet on down, lift the pelvis on up and breathe. on down. Great guys. Okay. So as you feel ready here, take your legs forward. Just release your palms down and close your eyes. And I'm going to lead you guys through a meditation. I'm just going to have my own seat. So keep your eyes closed. Keep yourself lying down on your back. Shavasana pose. And breathe here. So as you continue to breathe here, just let that breath be long and slow. Allow the eyes to be soft. Allow that breath to be relaxed, gentle, soft breath. And as you continue to breathe here, just begin to feel into these aspects of kindness, well-being, and letting go. And one of my favorite chants, and you continue to lie here, just notice your eyes relaxing. Notice your ears relaxing. Feel your face muscles, your chest, your shoulders. Feeling your, your uh, arms, your fingers. Just allowing your 
belly to relax, pelvis, thighs, knees, chins, feet, entire body. And this reminds me of this chant that we chant, which says, may all beings everywhere have no peace, or may, may all beings everywhere experience peace. So as you continue to lie here in Shavasana, eyes closed, breath relaxed, just begin to feel into these words. You may want to consider placing a hand over your belly. You may want to consider placing a hand over your chest. bringing these knees into a bent position, throwing your entire body onto your side. As you feel ready, pressing your way up and finding your way into this position. We're going to take our hands into our chest, just like this. And as you feel re ready, just begin to release the chin bones and chest. Let them go. Oh, shut the shut the shut. Peace, peace, and everlasting peace. So, thank you guys so much, uh, Dan and Gail. As always, you made my day. I was, um, you know, I didn't know if anybody was going to show up. So, I'm so happy to have you guys here with the practice. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying the classes, uh, and yeah, whoever wants to join in, amazing to have uh, anybody else with us today. Always a pleasure to be able to share these uh, teachings, and um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, um, as always, and kind of coming up to the camera to close it up. Um, I will... I will definitely let you guys, or I will uh, make sure that my little audio equipment is all set up. Um, it was, it was under the charger, but I think I, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> and that happens. So um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I will be here tomorrow as well at 3 p.m. Uh, as you know, every day at 3, uh, we do this wellness class. And... Um, I hope that you both have an incredible rest of your evening. Always a pleasure, Gail. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Uh, anybody else who's tuning in, I hope that you have a wonderful day as well. And as I usually share, be well, be happy. Namaste. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon.